guys, it's weird to start this vlog. I feel like everyone's having deja vu. We are starting the last vlog of this apartment here. So Cal and I are here right now. It's currently Tuesday morning. We are back at the apartment because when I was moving with the moving guys, there were a few things that wouldn't fit in the truck. So today we are coming back to pick everything up. Then we're gonna go right back to the house and keep social distancing ourselves. Don't worry. I haven't talked about it too much, but I feel like I really haven't had much to say to be fully honest. Yesterday, I quote tweeted a Trump tweet because I got really angry and hasty and then it ended up kind of like going viral and it freaked me out because everyone was fighting in my comments. I get a little nervous talking about like political things and things like that because I don't ever want anyone to fight because obviously it's always a very touchy subject. But I do feel like I need to touch on the fact that obviously the coronavirus is going on. It is a very scary thing. I've been trying my best to just like social distance myself, stay inside. Obviously with moving, it's a very hectic thing and it has been nice to just be able to like focus on something like unpacking while I've been moving. But I do have to get out of this apartment. So I did have to come back and get everything here today. But I just wanted to say to anybody who has been affected by it, if you have a family member, or a loved one, I am truly so sorry. From the bottom of my heart, my heart goes out to you. I am trying to stay as informed as I can about everything, but it's honestly a really scary thing. I really don't know what's going on, and I think that it's important to just remember that it's okay to be scared, and it's okay to not fully know what's going on. There's so much different information coming out from every outlet, from every person, and I'm truly so confused all the time. But right now, the best we can do is just like distance ourselves from large groups. I was supposed to have my friends come over and a group of like 10 the other night, and I ended up canceling it because I just wanted to be safe. I wanted everyone to be safe. And obviously we've just been trying to stay inside. So with that, I hope everybody is okay and taking safe precautions. Don't go out, don't go to, it's St. Patrick's Day today. Do not go to bars, do not go to clubs, do not do anything. Luckily in LA, they shut them all down as it is. But the fact that people are still going out is absurd to me. But yes, just wanted to touch on that and hope everybody is staying safe. And remember, even if you're not showing symptoms, you could still have it and contract it to someone else. So be safe people. On that note, we're gonna pack this stuff up and I'll keep you guys updated, but I wanna show you guys the apartment one more time once everything's all gone for the last time. All right, guys, we're gonna sleep. It's kind of gross how much like dust and stuff is here because I would clean this apartment like every day, <laughs> but it was like all under stuff. Cause I'm happy um, if you feel like a book without a broom. You guys wanna see the other rooms? They are empty and dusty. Goodbye to the closet room. Again, I really need to dust in here, sweep up a bit. Goodbye to the closet room and goodbye to the bathroom. Goodbye to my bedroom, which we still need to take wallpaper down. Don't worry, it is coming down. Someone's professionally doing that because I tried and did an awful job. Goodbye to the awfully lit bathroom. I will not miss you at all. No, I will not. Imagine trying to pee in this hole, you guys. I'm not even kidding, it's actually that dark. But I loved you so much to downtown. Thank you for the memories. I truly feel like I started my life here, like my actual like adult life. I will definitely miss this view. I don't think I will ever have a view like this again in my entire life. What a beautiful day to say goodbye to. <sighs> I love it so much. You can see the Hollywood sign right, right there. Griffith Observatory, there's like West Hollywood, Koreatown, Century City, Santa Monica all the way over there. I love you forever. I remember when they were building these when I moved in right here. They started building the first one and then it got so high and then they started building the second one. I was like, no, it's gonna obstruct my view. And then they stopped it right there, which is amazing. I'm gonna miss this place so much. Downtown just changed my life. I feel like I just found who I am here as like sappy as this is. And I'm very sad to be leaving, but also so thankful. To all of you guys, thank you so much for supporting me throughout this amazing time in my life. This was such an amazing chapter and I have so many memories here in this place. But yes, can't wait to start all the new ones. We've already been making new memories, which is awesome. And we're gonna go load up the car and then I'll see you guys when we get back home. Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. Oh my God, there's dirt on this camera. I dropped this in the mud. <laughs> like I was trying to get out of the car. Oh, Daisy needs to go potty. Or she just wants to play. Do you need to go potty or do you just wanna hang out? You seem frantic. Where are we gonna go? What's gonna happen? Is it time to go potty? So, well, the lighting is nice outside. We are, she just wanted to stare at the freaking pool. <laughs> I know it's pretty, but we have things to do, ma'am. As I was saying, it was a very bittersweet goodbye to the apartment. We're back at home now, and we have so much unpacking to do today because the whole downstairs is just covered in boxes. I want to get it done. I have more people coming tomorrow to work on the house, so I want there to be a clear walkway. So yeah, it's like 2 o'clock already. Today went by so fast because that moving took quite some time. So I'm going to crack an Alani New Energy drink, get my blood pumping, and we're going to go unpack a lot. So let's go. 
Let's find the dog first. She's in the like actual splits right now when she does that. <laughs> hey, do you want a sister? You're so goofy. Can we get another dog? No. You have to ask Daisy. I know. I don't. I just feel like she'd love a friend, but also she likes being the She's HBIC. The you know what that stands for? No. Head bitch in charge. No. Yeah, that's, that's all Daisy. That's Daisy. All right, let me just give you a quick little uh, rundown of everything that's going over. I asked Cal if we could just sit down, and he said... No. Okay. <laughs> Decision's been made. We have so much stuff. So much stuff here. So this is the main thing that I'm worried about. Like, I need to clear all this. It's been sitting here for a while. I want to put everything in the bathrooms away so we can just shower without a problem. I do need to buy towels eventually because we're kind of like out of towels. I don't really know where they all went. And when I was packing them all up, I only had like two. And I used to have like 50. But obviously the towels will have to wait because we're going to be home for a very long time and not leaving. So towels eventually will come. But yeah, let's get to uh, unpacking. Well, no, first, dun, 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 dun. do you want one? Right here, all the money. I'll do Cosmic Stardust. What flavor is that? I don't remember. Also, how did I get these in there? <laughs> it looks so cute, it's just so not easy. What'd you do? What'd oh you do? no. Okay, Tetris, yes, 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 almost. Oh good, I, really I, want, I want that flavor, yeah. Beautiful. Use code Remy at checkout. Thanks, love you, bye. Okay guys, right now we're just trying to map it out. The new TV's coming next week and we're trying to figure out how high we wanna put the TV up because the media center's coming and it's pretty low. I've never had a media center before, but I got one that's like gonna reach the, the bottom of the window. So obviously if we put the TV too high, then it looks weird, but if we put it too low, it looks weird too. So Cal just found this thing. Wait, that's so cool. And it's like a little hologram mm -hmm. of the real TV. This is, wow. Oh, that looks good. That looks good right there. That's insane. It looks like a Snapchat. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so cool. Good job, Amazon. All right, we have made some progress. I unboxed all of those frames. Unfortunately, one did break. So we threw that away and then had to sweep up, obviously, for ourselves and for Daisy to not get hurt. So now we are working on the glam room, which I'm gonna take all these light bulbs up there. Let me grab them, I need two hands. All right, we got the light bulbs. Oh man, these stairs kill my quad. It's so good. Oh, watch the floor, watch the floor. Here's the current state of the glam room. All right, we got the drawers that we brought over here. Just set up my vanity. We're now moving the mirror onto there, which Cal needs a hand, so one second. Mirror is set up here for the vanity. I put the big floor length mirror here now. We've got all the light bulbs in here. They're all plastic, so no big if they fall. And then Cal is gonna set up the rest of my closet that comes, I think it's coming the day after tomorrow, and then he'll set it up on Friday, and it's gonna be this whole wall. It's gonna look so cool. And then the island is gonna go back in the middle. I have something really cool planned for above the vanity, you guys will see. But that is the vanity update as of now. I am so happy because I'm finding new uses for all my stuff I already had. We don't have to really buy a ton of new stuff. This is my old little like console table that I kept under my TV. And it's this cute acrylic little moment. So we're putting this in the bathroom as an area to like hold towels and things. So we're trying to figure out if we want it here or against the wall. And then also I have a matching little acrylic side table and I'm gonna use this to store all of my little bath products for this. So it's gonna be perfect. Love it, this is from Amazon, that is from CB2. Watch your fingers. Yeah, that's CB2. I have two of them actually, so I'll have to find another place for the other one, but now it's so easy to find things. Also my chandelier's back and I learned how to turn on this fire. Look at that, you can change the color, which is cool. Like white, blue, green, red, yellow, purple. Blue, more blue, black. Isn't that sick? And it actually can emit heat, which is awesome, and you can change the like flames. This is cool. Also, the big tackle for today is gonna be the closet, but we're working on other stuff first right now. We have moved on to the bathroom in the guest room. Daisy, I'm blue, I have a D, I have a D. <laughs> so, I have this artwork that I used to have in my bathroom, and I think it'll go really well here because there's a lot of like blue tones going on out here with like the pillows, and we didn't make the bed today. But we could add some like royal blue pillows and royal blue accents which is really cute. And then I put this little marble thing here, which is perfect because if a guest is staying here, obviously they're gonna wanna put their things away. I can put cute little like toiletries in here, like extra travel toothbrushes, extra toothpaste, and then I'm gonna do a basket. I'm gonna try and find like a wooden basket with this kind of color and then 
add towels. Oh yeah, we need a trash can, duh. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, then we can maybe scooch this over a bit. Oh, that's perfect. This, they got a trash can. This is amazing. There's also this room in here, which right now I've only put in toilet paper. I also ordered a bunch of little hooks to put on the walls. They're gonna be black, so we can do hand towels. And then toilet paper little things. So I guess we can put the toilet paper on this side, or maybe that side. I guess we'll figure it out. But this I think will look cute with a little basket. Mm -hmm. And then the towels on top. And then I bought these little suction-y things that you can put your towels on on the showers because there's no hooks and I don't wanna drill holes into the wall for hooks. So I'll get that put up. And I think that looks really cute. I can even do towels in the little woven basket with like a mixture of white and royal blue and like light blue. Yeah. That'd be really cute. Okay. That'd be really cool. I think that looks good. I love using all this other stuff all around the house and giving it a new home. All right, come here. I've come been here. summoned for this. Let's see what this is. So for this corner, mm -hmm. throw a little plant bag here. Mm -hmm. This inside that thing on the, in the corner. let's try putting that in the corner and then put the plane on top also so we're recognizing that the three bathrooms that'll be used the most are these when people come over that when people stay in the guest room and then obviously ours upstairs in the room okay little extra side table moment that's cute and then I could add like poopery and things on there you know this where we have smaller plants too like a small one, plant. one that guy. I think that looks good it might be a little much please comment down below what you guys think okay let's put the small plant that's cute maybe we could just put some little decor on top I'll put poopery there. Regular toiletry stuff like tip toilet paper, poopery. Cute things. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, we also hung this TV up really high so we could put, I have multiple of these, one on each side of the neck. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> One on each side of the dresser. Oh, that looks so good. Do we have another one like that? We definitely do. I have a lot of those. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. That's what I was thinking to add some like elevation to the look. Was that the correct word? Who knows? Clean this off. Cal has made this really his room lately. All right, well, TBD, but I definitely have another one because they went up on the thingies, like around the TV. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so it's yeah. somewhere. We will find. Don't you worry. Also, look what's found her way back into the home. We've missed you, girly girl. You look beautiful. It only took us to move to the house for you to finally start sitting on your new dog bed that I bought you a year ago. <laughs> she loves this bed, guys. It's so cute. All right. It is now the time we've all been waiting for. It is time to start what, babe? Closet. Closet. We're going to organize a closet. Oh. All that cake, gotta cover it up. <laughs> Here's what we got going on in the master. This is gonna go up sometime this week. All right, this is the closet. Hello, we're working on it still, but I have hung up all of my dresses and I love how it turned out. So basically in here, we color coded it and then within, uh, within. <laughs> And then within each color, I organized it by, I guess like type of dress. So over here we have my strapless nude and then it goes to white where I have like strappy that goes into tank, that goes into like a cap sleeve, that goes into a long sleeve. And then the same all throughout with like nudes to reds, to blush, to orange, to yellow, to green, to teal, to blue, 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 pink, purple, and then all of my blacks. And I did all my pattern blacks here in the front, which I didn't do in my closet before. So this is great. And then all of my tank dresses and then and all of my long sleeve dresses, and then this one really poofy one that I bought for a premiere and I never wore it. So I'll be breaking that out again soon. Also, fun pro tip, Hill used to work at a bunch of different retail stores, and she taught me that the way to make your closet look super nice, and they would do this in the store, is that you put your finger in between each of the hangers, and that's how you perfectly space them to look really nice. So I started to do it, and then I got really lazy. But if you just put your finger like this, as you can see, then they're all really evenly spaced like that. Just in case you wanted to know, I'm way too lazy to do them all. I also love it because before in my closet, my dresses were too high for me to reach, so I couldn't really access them easily. Obviously, living in LA, it's hotter, so I wear dresses more often. So my jackets are gonna go up there, and my dresses are gonna go down here, and then my big puffy jackets I'm putting right here, and I'm excited to get into it. So let's go. We are starting the jackets now. I have my big wardrobe boxes, which I threw everything into here. I think I need to consolidate too, because I have so many jackets and I really need to sell some stuff on Poshmark for you guys because I do not need this many for me. So let's go. Oh, we have my custom birthday dress in here. First birthday dress and then Tyler gave me this one to change into and then I didn't change into it, but very cute. Maybe I'll put it up on Poshmark or something or I'll give it back to Tyler. I'll see what he wants. Okay. 
I'll see if Tyler wants this. If he doesn't want it back, then I'll put it up on Poshmark for super cheap for you guys. It is very cute. Okay, so we're organizing my jackets. I have these two here. I feel like I need to think of like one as like more, not formal, but like my leather jackets, my more dressy like denim jackets, and then that side could be like athleisure because I have a lot of athleisure and like cozy jackets that I could put up. Oh my God. YouTube Rewind class of 2015. I should give this to Eli. Eli would so wear this. Oh my God, my first Delta Gamma letters ever. I feel like I have to keep this for Mems too. I have so many letters still and I don't know what to do with them because I'll never wear them, but they're also a memory. This is my hoarding problem. Here's what I'll do. I'll put on my jackets I'm not gonna wear back here, but I'll still keep them, you know? Mm -hmm. This is so cute. I didn't know I had this. Look at this jacket right here. It is decked out in crystals all over. This is the most me jacket ever. Wow, that was a tough feat. All right, dresses remain the same. Then we have the jackets here, here, and here. All right, so jackets on this side are more casual. All of my denim and my black denim, blue denim, black denim, and then my favorite like random jackets. All of here are my cozy jackets, and then all of here are my little like casual puff jackets. Usually before I was only doing color coding, so I like that it's color coded within what type of jacket it is. Over here are all of my other bigger puffer jackets. These ones are a little bit lighter. These ones are thicker, like my aloe ones. I have some from Revolve, a lot of aloe, Princess Polly, Aritzia back there, my big puff coat back there. And then over here, these are like all of my IMG a pixie coats. So like the really like wooly ones like this. So I've got black, I've got this taupe one. They're from like Urban, IMG a, I don't know where that pink one's from, but it's really cute. And then we have all my fur jackets here, which are from Revolve, all of them, I believe. And then back here are all of my actual like ski jackets and my ski pants for when I go to the mountain. So these are all of the jackets for the most part. All of my little hoodies and sweatshirts and activewear are out there. And those are gonna go in the closet room. I didn't realize how many jackets I had until today and I also said pretty crazy that I have so many clothes when I literally wear the same thing every day but I'm hoping that this will encourage me to step up my fashion a little more once I get this all organized and I want to wear like a cute outfit every day we'll see how that goes but now I think we're gonna move on to shoes on this side maybe see how that goes I don't know I'll keep you updated pretty basic Hey guys, welcome back to Pretty Basic. This is Remy Cruz. And unfortunately today, we are not joined by Miss Alicia Marie because she gets the week off. Guys, but in case you're wondering, guest. Pal and I did an episode of Pretty Basic together and it's live now. So go check it out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you listen to your podcasts. It was hopefully a good episode. I'll link it down below. It's always linked down below. Check it out. Listen, he talks about what it's like to date an influencer. Okay, back to the shoot.
All right, guys, we got an update. The shoe wall is quickly filling up. It's looking so good. Jackets are still the same. I put white booties up there and then black booties up there, and I'm really liking how it's all turning out. All right, guys, quick closet break to eat some dinner. We're just having a bunch of Chinese leftovers. I got this chicken. It's like steamed chicken with veggies and brown rice, and it is so good. We also have salt and pepper shrimp, cream cheese wontons. Those are Cal's favorite. Honey walnut shrimp and lo mein, which are all also his favorite, so we are excited. We got some rice, we're ready to eat dinner. Parks and Rec while we eat, and we are stoked and hungry. Also, it's 9 p.m. already. I don't know where the time it's went today. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. Hi, guys, it is now 12, 23 a.m., and Cal and I ended up just laying on the couch for a bit and doing some online furniture shopping, but now I'm going to end the vlog. I ended up starting my period, and then we've both been like super anxious about this whole coronavirus thing, and it's just a really scary time time but it's been nice to have someone here to help me out with everything and just walk me through all of the anxieties and nerves that come with something like this and just the unknowingness I guess but yes I am now going to edit the vlog that I'm trying to put up tomorrow I hope you guys are liking well I know you guys are liking the daily vlogs not gonna lie it's been a little stressful between like fully moving and then also being like a super annoyingly ambitious person and like doing a lot in a day because I love doing that and then also still trying to get daily vlogs up for you guys at an early time so I've been usually editing around 12 to 1 a.m. and then getting it scheduled for it to go up at like 8 or 9 PST but it's worth it I'm happy you guys are loving the vlogs I'm having so much fun vlogging for you and I had a wonderful time today so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog be sure to come back tomorrow and I will see you then bye